I'm Kimberly Davis. Sleep apnea can do more than affect your airway. It can also affect your weight. A sleep specialist with UT Physicians explains why. Chronic snoring, difficulty staying asleep, or gasping for air during your sleep. These are all signs of obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. Excessive daytime sleepiness and trouble concentrating are also signs of the sleep disorder. So sleep apnea is characterized by um, either partial or complete collapse of the upper airway, which results in uh, drops in oxygen level. OSA can also cause a disruption in one's sleep. That's according to Dr. Rakshanda Majid, a pulmonary and sleep specialist with UT Physicians. It can also contribute to cardiovascular um, morbidity like hypertension, heart failure, early strokes and in some patients irregular heart rhythms like atrial fibrillation. There is a relationship between obesity and the diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea. About 75% of OSA patients suffer from obesity. Weight loss does improve OSA in most cases, but unfortunately the degree of weight loss that one needs to achieve to completely resolve OSA is very hard um, to attain, even with bariatric surgery. Unfortunately, if one has trouble sleeping, it makes weight loss that much more difficult. There are studies that actually have shown that not getting enough sleep does contribute to weight gain and that is a result of um, a couple of hormones actually. Those hormones increase one's appetite, causing cravings for salty foods and anything high in carbohydrates. The treatment for OSA is a machine patients wear during sleep, known as CPAP. For more information on this story and other preventative health stories, head over to khou.com slash health matters.